Yo guys, this is Claudio Barba from Brussels, Belgium. I'm a freelance motion designer and I am also the creator of Barba Chart, the bar chart raised uh, script for After Effects. Many of you asked the possibility to add the flags uh, to the bar chart. Uh, well, I have done it, uh, so since yesterday you can download from Gumroad uh, the new version of uh, Barba Chart. Uh, you will be able to add flags uh, in, the, in your bar chart without any issue. Let's see in After Effects how it uh, works. Here we are in After Effects. So let's see how it works. I have already docked the, the script on the top right uh, part of the screen. You can, of course, uh, put it wherever you want. It's a dockable script. If you don't have it here, you will uh, have just to click on Window and it will, it will be on the uh, bottom part of the window menu. Just click on it, it will open like this and you can uh, dock it wherever you, you like. So um, let's see how it's, it works. Uh, you can import first of all a CSV file. CSV file, it's a, uh, let me show you an example here. This is, uh, this is one of the files that you will receive uh, once you get the, the, the script. The first uh, column is the temporal uh, variable, which is the one that will be appear on the bottom of the screen. And then you have uh, each column represents a bar. Um, you, if you want the, the flags, uh, this is this is the big change in this uh, in this uh, list in this last uh, version. Uh, the flags, uh, you want to show the flag, uh, you just have to put this uh, uh, sharp sign, and uh, after that uh, the code of uh, the country, the international code of the, the country. Uh, of course, this is not something that you. Uh, no, maybe I have already inc I've included in the in the with the, the script uh, this uh, txt file containing all the country codes in the world. So you just want to put whatever you need. Uh, Greenland. Uh, you see that the country code is GL. So th what you gotta do is just to put GL after the the hash the the sharp sign in here. For instance, if you don't put uh, the, uh, this part uh, of the label, you will show only the, um, the label, Italy in this case, uh, with uh, no flag. Okay, so let's uh, leave it like that just to show you that Italy will not have a flag in this case. Uh, let's uh, uh, save it. We can close it. And this is the file that we have just modified. We uh, have imported it. We can modify the title, which is the one on the top uh, of, that will be shown on the top of uh, the screen. Uh, I don't know, the data by country. You can set uh, the duration uh, in here, it's in seconds. 10 seconds, I think the standard is 10 seconds. You can put it whatever. Uh, whatever you want, whatever you need, and the width is the uh, width of the active area. You, it's by st standard is 600, you can modify it uh, to uh, adapt to your needs. Click on create chart, and in a couple of seconds you have your bar chart trace with the flags. Um, you see that uh, we did not put uh, the, the flag for Italy, so there's no flag for Italy in this case, but you have the flags for all the other countries. The flags are included in the, in the script, you don't need to to get them, uh, so you just uh, need to put the, the right uh, country code into the CSV file. If you still want to modify, sorry, uh, if you still want to modify something in uh, in here, you can you can modify a lot of things. Uh, uh, you can modify fonts and the, and the width and the colors uh, of the text, uh, for instance. Uh, oh, let me. Uh, show you that I, I've put Arial because it's the most common uh, font but you can put really whatever whatever you want uh, uh, it must adapt to your uh, to your needs to, to your uh, desired look and feel and it's uh, it's reacting very very quickly you can modify still some things in here so if you go to the config layer here on the bottom so let me uh, change in here okay on the bottom you see you have the config layer uh, you have a, a bunch of uh, parameters that you can still modify and these are th these were already there in the uh, previous versions but just just a, a refresh <laughs> for those who don't know still barba chart visible bars will allow you to limit the number of visible uh, 
bars, even if there are six in the in the CSV. Uh, order by is the order of uh, of the um, of the bars. Standard is ascending. You can set descending, or you can set uh, no order. In this case, it will keep the the um, the position. And then you can still modify the background grid. Uh, you can set it to uh, each uh, 50, whatever the measure is uh, that you are showing. So you see that 100 is here more or less, uh, and you just just above 100 in this case. And uh, and that's and that's it. You can um, modify still the duration, but if you want to, to recreate uh, another script uh, because you have messed it up, you just have to re-import and recreate a script, a uh, create chart uh, again uh, for from scratch. It's it's gonna clean everything, and you can start from scratch very very easily. Um, that's it. If you want to get this version, I, I remember if you already own the license, uh, you can. Um, you can just go to your uh, area on Gumroad and uh, log in and, uh, and download it. It's, uh, the update is uh, free. If you still don't own the license, you can uh, you can uh, you can buy it on Gumroad. The link is below. I remember that the, there is uh, a discount code for um, available for everybody. How to get it? It's very easy. Uh, you just go to my page on Gumroad. You have to follow me uh, on there. You will receive a couple of emails. The first one is to confirm your email address, and the second one is uh, containing the discount code. And with this discount code, you can um, buy the, the script with a 40% discount. So don't forget to to, to uh, follow me if you want to to yeah to have a, a good price. Um, I remember also uh, you that I have a, a Discord uh, server where I can answer uh, questions regarding Barbachart. The link is in the description below, and uh, you can also ask ask for upgrades uh, if you think they are of general interest. I will add them in the coming. Uh, versions or if you would need uh, specific customizations I can make also a specific customization for you and that will be priced of course uh, uh, case by case um, I think uh, that's it so yeah get the, the, the script uh, have fun uh, uh, create your bar charts and let me know what you think about them if still uh, you are interested in following my videos you can uh, you can subscribe very easily C click on the bell as well if you want to be notified uh, normally i publish videos about uh, my scripts i create for after effects uh, and as i am a freelance motion designer i am also sharing general videos about uh, after effects and tips and tricks so see you next time have fun bye <laughs>